What's up to whoever might be watching? My name's Justine. This last week of music has been so much to process. It kind of feels weird just like sitting down and just being like, okay, let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> it's funny to like start filming again. I'm pretty sure like the beef between Kendrick and Drake at this point is over. I personally think Kendrick took the W. I think he really doesn't need to respond. So I think the chapter is closed on that. I think the beef is over. Back to regularly scheduled hip hop. The album that dropped that we are going to be listening today is uh, Gunna's One of One. And this comes after, this is his first album release after his A Gift and a Curse album. That came after all the drama with YSL. And there was actually a few pretty good songs on that album. I didn't revisit it like too, too much. It wasn't my favorite sound by Gunna, but he definitely had some good, good tracks on there. So in one of Kendrick's songs, I think it was Euphoria, he mentions Gunna. He said, I know some shit about guys that make Gunna wanna look like a saint. Yeah, so Gunna might not ever be beating the snitch allegations, but this album just came out last night. One of one. One of one. <laughs> so I let's see. I'm excited to kind of hop into this again. I don't know if anything like is gonna be as exciting following like all this beef and crazy tracks that we just got from Kendrick. Drake too, but I mean the good ones were for <laughs> Drake too, but the good ones were from Kendrick. So <laughs> it's gonna be kind of hard to like match this level of expectations, but I'm gonna try to go into this as unbiased as possible. First track on here is called uh, Collage. This sounds really, really nice. The the producer, whoever made this beat, very, very nice. Like, it's just easy to vibe to. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I really don't have any complaints about this track. <laughs> I think it's funny. The shrooms, they came from Euphoria. <laughs> I mean, I doubt there's no correlation. I'm sure he had this song made before Euphoria dropped, but it's just kind of funny. Um, I like how he gave a little Young Thug shout out right here. Pretty solid intro. Um, uh, the next one is One of One, so this is the actual title of the album. Okay, this is how he's coming. Gonna, this is how you coming? All right. I fuck with this sound. That oh. This is off to a really good start so far. These songs are just a vibe. Like, I I'm really good into this. These sound so nice so far. Shout out whoever's producing this. Let's see. Now this, sh this shit sounds so nice so far. Neck on a yacht. Yeah, I'm getting neck on a yacht. Damn, this is this is really good. I mean, I'm already enjoying this more than the last album. I just this is the kind of gunna that I like where he's just like vibing. The other one, like, yeah, I, I get why he made the album and addressed so much shit on that one, but I'm I'm glad that he's just like getting back to the music on this. These three songs have been like hits so far. I fuck with this. I fuck with this heavy. What's up? I'm I'm just I'm really liking this album so far. Oh, okay, so I guess this one was the second lead single to this um, album. Yeah, I've not heard any of this album so far, so I don't even know what the lead singles were. Apparently this was one of them, but 
I can see it. I feel like that's got like a really catchy chorus. Anytime I see I hear gonna wanna now, it's just gonna make me think of Kendrick. Sorry, gonna. <laughs> this one should be interesting. It's Hakuna Matata. Who knew that he could take Hakuna Matata and make that shit into a track like this? <laughs> it sounds really good though. Um, came out the bottom, I count a whole lot of you're gonna worth millions of dollars. I still have to try my little bitch of model. She made a few M's off of following. This is the vibe that the album is going for because it's like pretty similar to like the Gunna that we know and love, but it's super, super vibey. Um, I'm glad that he's come back with an album like this because it's just kind of like, okay, it's time to move forward and focus on the music. And that's definitely what he's doing. Okay, so this song is called uh, Prada Dem. This is featuring Offset, um, and I guess this was the lead single. Uh, I have not heard it yet, so let's go ahead and hop into it. I will say, um, Offset, he actually has kind of been surprising me a little bit this year. I like his verse on here. It's cool. I actually saw his concert. He's on his like set it off tour. And I actually saw his concert when he came through to Phoenix. And I will actually say his like stage presence and everything that's going on in his set. It actually very, very much surprised me. Like he actually put a lot of work into the production of his shows and he put on an actually really really good show so I don't I haven't really kept up with like Migos or Offset or like I mean I did Quavo's album but I, I don't really like keep up with them all that much but I will say Offset has actually impressed me this year okay the other line that I want to address is gonna straight up say I'm not a rat still getting cheddar so I mean the fact that everybody thinks he snitched on Young Thug and YSL and took a plea deal to just like throw that in his song and to just like make it flow like that I mean I don't know again like I said in the last video I have no fucking idea like I, I didn't keep up with that case so I really have no idea like what's what's the truth on that <laughs> but he like said it and it kind of like got past me for a second then I was like wait what did he just say <laughs> Ooh, see again there we go the production is just so nice on this album i like the song <laughs> i only thing is what is trish or who is trisha is, is that someone or is that is that does that mean something else i feel like the way he's singing it it kind of sounds like it's like someone's name but I'm not 100% sure, so if y'all know what that means, let me know in the comments. Man, these, are, these tracks are just, I feel like the album just is like building on top of each other like i just feel like it's got the same vibe all the way through and i really really like it Ooh, this is gonna be a really good album for the summer like i can already tell this is this is gonna be one of those albums that is like is gonna remind you of summer of 2024 i can already tell that shit right now okay back in the a and i'm right back in the a smooth i ain't leaving no choice oh. Don't do this shit for the fame. Uh, 
chasing these guamas. I'm in the chase on the way to these commas. I hold a back, and I'm right back in the A. Smooth, I ain't leaving no trace. Huh. They made better than that. I put the drip on the map. Platinum on all of the plant. Yeah, I'm gonna just say it right now. Whoever made the beats for the album, like, whoever made these beats, they understood the assignment. Like, this this is hitting right now. We're like halfway through and just about every song has been a hit. Okay, I have just never in all my years of listening to music, I have never heard someone <laughs> use the analogy that Gunna did. I don't even want to repeat it because it's dirty. Man, man, these these rappers are getting so creative, so creative when they talk about getting head. Yeah, I've, I've just I've just never heard it described that way. It really, really, really just caught me off guard. There, good song. That that bar is a little interesting, but other than that, good song. <laughs> Is gonna to see Drake too? Is that a Drake shot? Yo, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Who else in the industry has been accused for paying for their abs? Okay, you know what? Actually, let me not even say that because there might be other people and I'm just like not aware, but I mean the timing. The timing of everything. Not Drake's catching strays in a gunna album. That's wild. <laughs> That song was good, and I still kind of feel like that bar is about Drake. I mean, it's honestly smart if he does diss Drake just because if he puts a bar in there like that, he's probably gonna get more traction for his music. But honestly, Gunna's been making hits. Like, his last album did... I mean, I know uh, the Fuck You Mean song went like crazy, so... Not that he really, like, needs to diss Drake, but shit, it can't hurt either, so... Okay, Blackjack. This one's cool. Um, I'm a lion in the field, I ain't no mice. I mean, him just obviously further trying to deny the allegation. You know, snitching. Um, I would say, like, don't overdo it, but I don't think he has yet, necessarily. I mean, yeah, he's mention it a couple times but it is like something that's being heavily thrown on his name so i understand otherwise nice song um this is just money mon dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign featuring normani Normani's vocals sound so good on this track. Her voice is like perfect for the vibe of this album and especially for that song. I felt like her vocals just complemented it so well. They sounded really good together and a very smart choice to put her on that song and put her on the album. Play with it to my songs, baby, turn it up a notch. Oh, yeah, it's on the O's. You fucking hard to agree. Carve a life we live. Confidential ain't as up in the sky, make a moan. Talk, no, she ain't not the same. Oh my gosh, I love that song. I love how that sounded. My favorite line in that song is Love your smile when you're happy, see all 32 T. <laughs> One of my favorite things that my, my roommate says to me is she'll say, Whenever I like laugh or smile and she's like making fun of me, she's like, damn, I didn't know you had that many teeth. <laughs> I like that because like, shout out to all my girls with like big ass smiles like me. 
Oh, uh, so obviously I like that line. <laughs> so good. Like, this is just... Damn. This is honestly, like, one of the best sounding albums that I've reviewed this year. Like, this is... This is really, really good. This is, like... This is way better than I even expected. Not that I expected, like, anything bad. I just wasn't exactly sure what what kind of sound I was gonna get from Gunna. Just considering his last album. But he's really, like, hitting the nail on the head right now. It's so good. Just about a whole world. That's another one that's really good. I, okay, what I like about this one is that it has a very similar vibe to the other ones in like the term of like how it sounds and that you can just like vibe to it. This one, he gets a little deeper in the lyrics than some of the other songs that we've heard so far on this album. But in the same way, with that being said though, I don't think the track is too heavy that you couldn't just like put it on and vibe to it. I still think it makes sense on this album. Um, it's just a little bit deeper than some of the other ones that we've heard so far. Haters hate when I'm shining, shine bright like the sun in May. Obviously May when he drops his album, but also some of us have birthdays in May. Uh, and our motto is shine so bright it burns their fucking eyes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got a couple more tracks here. Let's keep going. This is probably, for me, one of the highlights of the album. And this is actually probably one of the best Roddy Rich verses I've heard in a while. I don't really listen to Roddy Rich like that. And he's been on like a couple albums where his verse, they were cool, but it was like nothing too crazy to me. But I would say it's a solid track and Roddy Rich's verse actually really added to this song. I like this a lot. So this was a really good one. I can see as we're shifting towards the end of the album, it's getting like a little bit slower, a little bit more serious, it seems. So I guess kind of what I would expect towards the end of the album, but got a couple more here. Let's see. She another banger. This <laughs> this album literally got me so shook right now. This is this is it. Okay. Today I did good. Rich, I'm still rich. Open your eyes, see the bigger pick. The bigger pick. She gonna die. Crash in a pussy whenever I don't got a hands. I wake up and roll around in the chain way. Know that my money's still up. Real love is all I need. Why was the first thing when I, when I listen to this song, I just think, I feel like my dad would really like this song. <laughs> okay. If you knew my dad, you would understand why I would feel like this song would totally be his vibe. This, but this, ah, man, just like every song just, just hits. Like, there has genuinely not been one bad song on this album so far. So far, I mean, we have one song left, but this has been solid so far. This one, I'm a little skeptical because it's six minutes and 35 seconds. So, and just the title, I feel like it might be kind of like, a dragged out song but we'll see we'll still give it a chance it's time reveals 
Be careful what you wish for. Okay, that track was six minutes, but it actually didn't drag at all, actually. Sometimes, you know, if it's too long, my attention span is really bad, so... No, that was really good. I just went to look to see who produced this song, and there's literally one, two, three, ten. Ten people credited for producers, so that's a lot of people to name, so shout out to all of them, but the production on this song was immaculate. I feel like this was a great, great way to end out the album. I like this song a lot because I really like the part, first part of it, and then the second part complements it very well, very well too. The way it transitions, I feel like it's very smooth. I, I like the whole theme of this song. How, um, obviously, time reveals all and be careful what you wish for. But I like how in his second verse, in the second part of the song, he just kind of, he just talks about like, how are you going to get rich and forget your wish? Boy, thank God that you made it. Maintain this life. You're running through M's trying to get through these phases. Oh, Rich problems you can't complain, foreign cars and these new diamond chains. Superstar you spend to stay sane. Careful what you wish for, careful what you wish for. These are lyrics that most of us won't be able to relate to, but although you can't like relate to it, you can kind of still put yourself in someone else's shoes. And basically just like this reoccurring theme in rap music or just, you know, hip hop music that more money, more problems, and just because you're rich doesn't make your problems go away. But I feel like the way that he kind of addressed this reoccurring theme, I feel like he addressed it in in a way that feels a bit more relatable to the listener. And I just think that this song just sounded really good, I think, with the whole theme of the album. And as it starts off very vibey, it stays that way throughout the album, but the end tends to get a bit more serious. And I feel like this is a good way to close it out. I don't think in any song he gets too crazy deep. Um, I still think this whole album is really something that you could put on around people and it would still be like acceptable. It's still socially be fine to vibe out to. But I think this is going to be a really, really good album. I think this will be a really... I think this album will have a lot of replay value. I think this will be great for the summer. And I just feel like this is actually... I mean, I've only listened to it once, but I feel like this is actually one of the highlights of what I've listened to so far in 2024. So um, to say that after our first listen, obviously can tell that I really enjoyed this and I like this album and I think it's a very solid piece of work. Um, obviously, I still have to listen to it and let it like grow and marinate more, but got a snapped on this. He did not come to play and you could definitely tell there's a lot of hard work it put into this and I think... I, I, I like I like that he didn't really get too like deep on this one. I mean again there's there's points of the album where he like talks certain things, but I think overall this is very easy to digest for a listener. And like I said, I think this is gonna have a lot of replay value. And I think this will be a great a great album this year. So that's that's all I really have to say about it. Let me know what you think of the album down below in the comments. If you would like to see my full unedited reaction to this album, I have a Patreon. I will leave it linked in the description box. It is patreon.com slash Justine Lugo. If you want to go see this reaction and all of my other full uncut reactions, go to the Patreon. That is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.